Okay, so I'm back doing this job, changing the idler pulley. Now the one that came in is a plastic one. This is a metal one, but the bearing's the same. Okay, so the bolt on this pulley is a T50 Torx, but it's coming out really hard, so I'm gonna put a little heat on it. Now that's a metal pulley, so a little heat on it's not gonna hurt the pulley. Of course, it's coming out anyway, but I'm not gonna melt anything with the torch up in there. But that is really tight. I didn't want to come out at all. I will warm it up a bit. I'm just using propane. I got that thing pretty hot and I finally got it to turn and uh, I heated it on the end of the bolt and I also heated it on this little see how there's a little aluminum spigot that sticks out there that's threaded I didn't think I was gonna get it without breaking it off and that would not have been a good place to break off a bolt okay so I got it out there's the bolt still a little warm As you can see it's got a t50 T50 socket on that side it's got a little rubber gasket there I don't think I damaged it and uh, there's the new pulley compared to the old one that's identical height wise and diameter and the holes the same in the center now the only difference is this is a metal pulley and this is a plastic one this is a replacement and actually what I did was I ordered a metal one and it doesn't look like it's going to be here for a couple more weeks. And this belt is really screaming at me now. You know, this bearing's really shot in here. So uh, I got this one, and I got this locally, and it's it's the same size. So I'm going to put this one on, and hopefully that's going to fix it. And when the other one comes in, I'll just keep it as a spare. And you know, if I did, if I think it's going to be better by putting the metal one on instead of the plastic one, I'll do that too. But uh, for now, I'm going to put this one in. And uh, but I'm going to put some anti seize on these threads. I don't want to have to go through this again if I have to change that. Okay, I'm going to put a little copper anti-seize on that bolt before I put it back in. There, that should be good. All right, that's the stuff I'm using right there. Okay. I don't think there's an in or an out to this. They're both the same size. That's, that could be the front or the back. I don't think there's any difference. Let me see. Oh, that looks the same. Okay, let's call that the front. All right, let's put that in. Okay, I got that in there and I got it tightened down. But I realized something. This bolt is critical. Uh, there's a little shoulder on the inside of this bolt that sits on the inside race of the bearing. And I'm wondering if the new pulley, the, you know, the one I'm waiting for, the metal one, is going to come with a new bolt. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. But I think this bolt is critical. I mean, if the bolt is worn or if that uh, little rubber on the end of it, uh, of the shoulder is worn, then the bearing's not going to sit straight. But it looks good here now. This seems fine. But uh, I'm going to keep an eye out and do some research about this bolt and, and uh, see what I find out. But for now, this is on here, and i just got to put the belt back on, and uh, let's see if that noise has gone away. Okay, so I've just put the belt back on, and to adjust it, to get it over the uh, the last pulley, you got to move the tensioner. So how I do it is I just put two wrenches together like this, box end on that one like that, and it's a 15 millimeter uh, head on the, the tensioner. So what I do is I put that on there like that and then I move it you move it this way and all I can reach you know down once it's down in there like that all I can reach is the top of this other spanner but uh, you know it takes a little bit of practice to get that in there like that you know I'm sure there's a longer wrench somewhere to do this but that works for me and then I you move this this way and then the belt is plenty slack to position it over the pulleys you get it all in except for the last one just on the alternator there and then uh, and move it over into position and let that go back slowly and then before you go turning it over you want to look at all the pulleys and make sure the belt isn't cockeyed on any of them because if you're to start it up and the belt's not on right you're going to shred it but that looks good 
Okay, let's start this up and see if that noise is gone. There's the engine running, and that noise is gone. That fixed it. You hear the AC clutch kicking in and out. That's normal on these trucks. That's turning there now. There's no more noise. So that was the problem. I think that one's gonna be fine. Let's see what happens when the metal one comes in. Uh, if I have to update it, I'll let everybody know and I'll do another video and put the metal on in. And that's how that's done. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again here soon on Everyday Projects. Bye for now. Thank you.